Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the last video, I have shown you how to download Siemens software. So today I am going to show you how I downloaded my factory IO software. So first of all, open your browser and write in your browser free IO trial download. Press the enter button. So you can see our website has loaded. Now here you can read try factory IO free for 30 days. So just click on this link. This is the official website. So this is the simple form where we have to enter our details. Select this checkbox and uh, click on here. Start trial. Uh, you can navigate to your folder. Here you can see this is my zip file which I have extracted here. This is the folder where I have extracted my zip file. And here you can see the application file. So just click on it and installation procedure will on. Uh, which I will show you now. So as soon as you click on the application file, first of all, it will ask for the language and then click OK. So this dialog box will appear. Now click on the next and here we have to check this. I accept the agreement and click next. Now again, click next and uh, here also we just have to click on next button. So now it is ready to install and again clicking next. You can see it will start installing the factory IO software. And when the installation is completed, then it will show this message that setup has finished on your computer. And we have to click on the finish button. So now we can open our factory IO software. The very quickly, I will show you the basic interface of the software. So let us open this factory IO. So there are already scenes. We can directly start from these scenes or we can click on the new file also. So this is you can see our factory IO. First of all, the main thing is the camera or the navigation, uh, how that we use. So this is the first one where we can zoom in and zoom it with mouse and with the arrow keys in the keypad, we can move. Okay. So this is the first thing and by right clicking, uh, we can change the perspective like this. Okay. So I am holding my right key and I'm turning my mouse like this, okay? By our cursor, it is mouse. I am zooming and zoom out. And by arrow keys, we can move. So this is the first perspective that is selected over here. That is the orbit camera. Now let us see the fly camera. So here through the roller of my mouse, you can see it is moving in Z axis. That is up down. And by right clicking, I am able to turn like this and by arrow keys, I am moving left, right, forward and reverse. So uh, based on your flexibility, you can select the control and the last is the first person camera. So here again by right click, we can turn like this and from the keypad, we can move like this. Okay. Left, right, forward and backward from the arrow keys in the keypad. So generally, I prefer this. You can select whichever is flexible to you. After this, there comes this list. Okay. Uh, these are the all components that you can use in the factory IO. If you find it little bit confusing right now. So simply from here, we can select the list. So what we want, we want sensors. Okay. So these are the sensors. We want operators like this. If you want uh, light load parts that are the conveyors and etc. So whichever object you want, you can search from here. And uh, if you want to insert in our project, just drag this. And you can see we have inserted the component. Okay. Now, so we can go like this from my keypad arrow keys. So here you can see this is the motor which will run our roller conveyor. So this is belt conveyor 2 meter. That is the length of this conveyor. Okay. Some operators like start stop button for this. So here you can see this is the stop button one. So right now it is coming on the horizontal plane at the bottom. If we want to drag this upwards, so, so let us right click and uh, select the vertical trans. Now, I can move in vertical axis. So again, select this and there is the shortcut also. Press V from your keypad. Now drag your mouse. So you can see we have 
move the button in vertical direction. Now, if you want to move it horizontally, that you can simply move like this. There are the different ways to do this simulation. First, we can directly force it from here. Click on run and uh, force this. Okay, so first we have to click on this tag. So now you can see the tag has came over here. Now, if I force this conveyor, you can listen the sound that conveyor is moving. Okay, let us stop this. They insert a box so that you can visualize it. So oh, let us insert a box over here. Again, I will click on V and uh, keep it over here. Now oh, let us run and uh, force this conveyor. Okay, so first we have to click on the tag, the stop mode. And after the tag appears over here, you can see the conveyor has moved. So this was the one way uh, without logic means uh, we can check the direction of the components and like this. Now integrate this with our logic. So what is the way for it? We can go to files, drivers and from here we can select our Siemens PLC sim. Right now if you don't have PLC sim we can also go to control IO. Okay, just click OK. So before that, so let us keep one start button also. So again, I will go to operators and this time I will select the start button. Now again, I will press V to move it in upward direction. So let us say this is our start and stop buttons. So we have to click in its tags. So press this. Now go to file, drivers, control IO. Okay. So here you can see the control IO has opened. So here we can do programming with the logic gates. So let us see how we can do that. So first of all, let me use the SR flip flop over here. So simply by drag and drop, we can do this. Now I will click on the text. So these are the text used in our factory IO. So first of all, the start button one. So after that stop button. So this I will connect it to set and the stop button I will connect it to reset. In the output, we want the conveyor. So the belt conveyor I will drag and I will connect this to my output. Okay. Now stop button in my actual condition will be NC. Okay. So I cannot directly connect this like this. So let us delete this. Because my stop button is by default NC. So I have to use one not get. Now. This I will press this NC. It means it will become zero and the invert of zero will be one. So one will go to reset and it will stop my output. So this is the simple. Uh, logic for start stop or we can say latching logic okay so i will click on the run button from here and minimize this okay minimize this now i will go to my factory io and it is already in running state okay so as soon as i will press this conveyor will move and i press this conveyor will stop so let us see okay because it is not happening because I have uh, made this forced. So I have to release this because before programming, I have forced this. Okay. So let us stop this and uh, release all this. Okay. Now my simulation will happen. Okay. So let me run this simulation. And as soon as I will click on the start button, uh, you can see from here, I will click on the start button and stop. So you can see my conveyor is moved again. I will run the simulation because I have to take this box back. Again, I will click on here. I again start this. You can see conveyor is still on. I will stop this and the conveyor is stopped. You can see indication from the color over here. When I am 
starting this it has turned on you can see this is yellow light when i stop this it has turned white so it is now stop so this was the simple way to do simulation in factory io with control io software this is inbuilt but friends in our real life we do automation with ladder programming so in our series also we will do this automation logic things with our plc logic that is the ladder logic so for that we are going to use this siemens plc sim software now for this video i just wanted to show you the software interface and uh, how the complete software you can use by yourself hope you had learned something new and if you want to learn more content like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with very interesting examples